guys, welcome to my diamond painting session. So today I thought I would continue with my Lisa Parker Heaven and Earth design, The Witching Hour. And during this sort of diamond paint with me, I thought that what I'd do is sort of talk to you about my personal life goals for 2019. So grab yourself a hot drink, get your diamond paint in or your stitching out and come along and join me. See you in a bit. So I'm still working on the moon. <laughs> I haven't made an awful lot of progress since you were last here. So I thought I'd better get the diamond painting out and look like I'm going to do something with it. Um, so I do, I do love this. It's just finding time. Well, it's not finding time because obviously if I have time to stitch, I have time to do this. But I've got Daisy next to me in her little sort of cage bed. So I'm hoping she's going to just let me do this for a little while. So I'll be marking off my stitches as I go. So apologi apologies for that. But I, um, yeah, I just don't want to get lost within within this right now. But I thought what I would do, seeing as though I share a significant amount of my life with you anyway, <laughs> that I would chat through what my personal goals are for 2019. So I will be showing or filming a 2018 wrap up and sort of December update and then I'll be showing you my stitchy diamond painting plans as well perhaps you know in the same upload or a separate depending on how long it's gonna you know it works out at but this is more this is more of a personal thing and, and I just thought you know what I'll I'll do this while I diamond paint with you because I guess at this time of year it's always you know, a good time to reflect on what's gone well and, and what hasn't in, you know, the previous year. So, you know, this year for 2018, you know, what I feel as though I've accomplished, what I would like to do more of next year. It's like sort of what I need to start doing, stop doing, I suppose, really. <laughs> I mean, there's been a lot of positives, I think, from from this year, but there's, there's also some things that I need to make sure that I redress and rebalance because, you know, there's only there's only so much you can you can give, um, you know, whether that's work or privately, whatever that might be. So the first thing that I wrote down is a biggie, and you know, when you sort of think about your New Year's, it's not a resolution. I don't make resolutions because I'll never keep them, but. I guess in an ideal world for next year, what I'd like to achieve, and I think everybody would probably have this on their list who work, <laughs> as, as the vast majority of us do or have done in, in life, is just strike a really good work-life balance or a much better work-life balance. So, obviously, everybody knows Everybody works hard anyway, you know, no matter what what job you do, you people work hard. You have to in this day and age. Everything's so ultra competitive that there's always somebody sort of chomping at the bit to take your job. If if you know if you're not sort of up to it or you know if you leave, you know you you you're not dispensable when it comes to um comes to working for a company or in whatever line of work you do there'll be always somebody who can replace you and I think I need to keep that in my mind a little bit not from the the point of view of sort of using that to beat myself with and, and sort of work even harder than I do because I'm frightened somebody will take my job but but know that it's a job at the end of the day and yes you know I want to always do it to the best of my ability but it's still just a job it's not my entire life and over the last few months, I mean, I've, and it's only because really a lot of the projects that I've been working on have sort of come into fruition and, and, and that's made me even more busy than I would normally be. But what that's led to is me re having a really strong close to this year and 
I've actually got myself really noticed and established within the organisation this year. And I probably could have done this a lot sooner. I mean, I do have, obviously, a management-style job in terms of having a team. I've got now a team of 10 individuals that are my direct reports that I take responsibility for from you know, a managerial perspective, coaching and development, training, y you name it, all aspects, admin, the lot. But my previous job before that was a much more senior role. So, you know, I had somebody at my level reporting to me, so I was a second line manager in my old company. In fact, I ran the company. So, <laughs> you know, I can, I can function at a really, really high level. You know, I mean, I was responsible for everything in my old job, you know, from balancing the, the books to, oh, just everything, absolutely everything you can think of that goes with running a company, plus all the customer facing things, uh, managing people, so, you know, I, I can work at a really, really high level and I don't know what, why I did. I think it is because a lot of it was it's a very different type of company that I work for now. It's a lot more corporate and there's, there's this sort of, not an etiquette, but just ways and means of going about things. So I've sort of bided my time and, you know, just got myself to a really good position where from a business perspective, my area is doing really well. I've got a good, strong team behind me that, you know, some people have stayed through, some people have left, I've had to exit people. You know, I've, I've got myself into, you know, a really good, a good position. And I think in a way you almost need to to do that first. You know, you can't sort of go in and, you know, demand world domination straight away. But, but towards the back end of this year, I've really got stuck in, you know, I've really been able to demonstrate my skill set through the projects that I've been working on. And I know that I'm coming into this new year in a really good position. And I know that I will have been graded well at the end of the year. I should get, you know, it's never a massive pay rise, but I'll be up for probably a better pay rise than I've had um, in, in the three years that I've been with the company. So I feel like I've established myself and senior members of the team, so my leadership team, are recognising my abilities, which is a great position to be in. So I've had to sort of work really hard this year to, to sort of showcase myself, I feel, and, I, and I've done that now. So for me, next year, it's, it's about... I guess just putting the final stamp on that, so I'm going to go for my senior level in, um, in, in April, which it doesn't mean anything, it just means I become a senior business manager. And yeah, and I get sort of a little payout, which, you know, will buy me something nice. But that, that's not the whole point, that's not why I'm doing it. It's, it's more a strike while the iron's hot kind of thing because I think people will expect me now to go forward for it. So with that in mind, the fact that I've worked really hard this year to establish myself, not that I can take the foot off the gas, but I've sort of set my stall out really and, and people know I am capable and if anything needs to be done, they know that I'll get it done. I don't think there was a doubt about you know my work ethic ever. But I feel as though I've really, I don't know, put myself into a good position to start off the new year with, if you get what I mean. So with that said, always I'm thinking about work-life balance. I feel as though for the last probably two months of the year, I gave like literally 200% to the job. You know, there was a lot of out-of-hours stuff. If I wasn't away which, you know, takes time out. I mean, you've seen what it's like when I'm away. I'm not just, you know, working during the day. You're expected to socialise on a night. You don't get downtime. You know, you literally get back, you get changed and you're out for dinner. That's the job. So you give your evenings to it as well. When I travel, I give my evenings because I'm driving backwards and forwards to London. Not always in work time. A lot of it's in my time. And... You know, you you don't get that time back. 
you just you just don't it's just part of the job we don't get paid all the time it's part of the contract and you know when you sign up for it that it's it's not going to be straightforward and you will have to give up a lot of your personal time to the job and it's it's a given you know it, and, and nobody really minds but it's it's getting that balance right now for me so I've established myself and now it's not a time to, to sit back because I can't but it's just a time to make sure that I have me time and enough me time and that I do put myself in a position where I almost work make the job work for me a little bit better so I'll give you an example of that of what I mean by it so I have a static caravan so if you're in the US it's like um, a trailer unit over on the east coast and I've barely got there all year and a lot of the reason for that is obviously I've been doing work in the house so I did all my kitchen and that was you know all encompassing and really time consuming even though I wasn't physically doing it it's still you know the mess that comes with that so you would spend the weekend trying to get reorganized and, and get things put straight for the for the guys to come back in and my dad to come back in and and start to make a mess again so you almost have to keep it on top and organized with, with the mess um, anybody who's doing building has done building work or doing building work will know exactly what I mean um, it's it's not it's not easy it's not an easy time um, so I rarely got there all year. It's it's a distance away from where I live, so it's almost a couple of hours drive, but it's still on the territory or the region that I cover with work. So I still have a couple of reps who live in that neck of the woods. So I need to tie in like what we call field visits where I go out and pretty much get in the car and they drive me around and I kind of observe, support from a business perspective, coach and train them as, as we go on the day, I need to start building that in to me being over on the East Coast so I can maybe work with an individual on a, a Friday or a Monday but then that already puts me on the East Coast for the weekend and I can't do that all of the time but at least once a month I can build that in to my working week where I'm making my job work for me to get me to the point where I need to because I, I told you oh, on numerous occasions I, I do a lot of driving with my job so you know I can spend three to four hours a day behind the wheel of a car and then you know to, to think that I need to drive for two hours more on a weekend to get me to the place where the static is and then two hours back the following day you know on a weekend sometimes I just haven't got it in me to get behind the wheel of the car I am so done with driving and other drivers and the amount of time and just sitting there and I just I just can't and, and it wouldn't be it wouldn't be like mentally the best thing for me to be doing anyway because sometimes you just need to be away from everything that reminds you of work don't you but yeah I just need to make the job start working for me a little bit more and then just being I suppose a bit more organized with the job as well because you know there's there's like a bit of a joke isn't it oh yeah she's on an admin day or that means that she's gone shopping or that really isn't the case an admin day literally is I will sit behind my laptop and I probably won't move. It'll get to three o'clock and then I'll realise I haven't eaten anything and I haven't had lunch, I haven't had any breakfast and I'm still in my pyjamas. That's what an admin day is like for me. So then, you know, th there's no downtime. So before Christmas, I, I really wanted to get sort of ahead of the game and I spent, just so I could have a lighter Friday before I broke up, and not be sort of sat there all day. I sat in front of my laptop for 14 hours. So I was there at 7 in the morning. And then I logged off at 9 o'clock at night. Which is not good. It's not healthy, is it? It really isn't. Um, 
So I'm going to, to pause while I switch colours, so bear with me while I just change my colours because I've finished all of that symbol now while I've been chatting away. Bear with me, I'll be right back. So that brings us on to YouTube and, and all other things related. So I've really enjoyed doing some extra uploads this year and, you know, sharing a bit more of my life with you guys. I love looking at other into other people's lives and I think if if you're interested in certain topics or sharing certain things then it always comes across as authentic when you do it yourself so I love watching I love people watching and I love watching what people get up to and you know if I like it then you know I'm going to want to do it on my channel I know it's not everybody's thing not everybody's interested I'm not the most interesting person in the world every now and again I'll do something that's fun that I think oh, I'll share with you guys but on a day-to-day -day basis you know my life's really quite boring um, you know I go to work I come home I stitch or I do other stuff and you know sometimes there's stuff to share and sometimes there isn't so that's never going to take over um, you know this isn't my job I do this because I enjoy it you know there's there's people out there who it is their job <laughs> this is just a hobby so it's ne I'm never going to be in a position where I can upload something every day or I have set upload times during the week so I'll say to you oh yeah I'll be uploading on a Sunday and and whatnot I don't ever foresee that happening because I just don't have the time um, as, as many of us don't but if I do have something worth showing or I think you'll be interested in then I'll share it I um, you know it's 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 one of those things isn't it I'm not going to sort of put myself under any major pressure you know from a time or financial perspective because I feel as though I should buy something to show you it or you know I just I'm just I just don't want to do that um you know if it's if it's interesting and it's worth showing you I'll do it one of the things I do want to do more of is like the cards and the jewellery I do, or I did in the past, a lot of that. And and I haven't so much over the last couple of years. I've really got very, very heavily into stitching, which is not a bad thing to, per se. But, you know, my um, card making stuff is grossly neglected. And I do have quite a stash of stuff up there that I've collected for many years. But... You know, there's there's a lot of stuff that I can show you. I know there's there's people. You know, many of us are multi crafters anyway, and you know don't just necessarily do the one thing. So I thought that that might be useful to share with you. So I will do some cards, um, jewelry, more jewelry uploads um, moving forwards. I do have like the setup to do it. Obviously, this camera, the certain tripod to do it. Um, I got the ring light that I showed you a while ago that I've yet to use. So there's, you know, I've got I've got all the setup ready to go. It's just getting round to it and getting organised, which I will definitely do in the new year. So that leads me on to my other topic. Some of you may or may not know, but I have a little Etsy store. And I've sold mostly um, like kits, like a Kamihimo type kits and beaded Kamihimo kits. So I want to do more with my Etsy shop this coming year. Um, you know, it's not like a, a huge money spinner. It, it, you know, it's, it's not paying for itself. It's costing me more in, sorry, I'm about to stick that in the wrong place it's costing me more in supplies than, you know, but, but this it does while you're getting yourself established, doesn't it? Sorry, I'm just working out where I am because I think while I've been chatting, I may have gone a bit wrong. Bear with me while I back the truck up and um, just count and see where I've gone wrong. God, sorry guys, I was well off the mark. <laughs> That's what you get for talking. <laughs> and trying to count at the same time, isn't it? <laughs> doesn't work. Um, so I was saying, I, before I rudely interrupted myself, let me just put that down there, I need to make sure I'm marking stuff off a little bit more regularly. Um, 
I would I would be trying to do this in an area of um, it's not high confetti but it's not like a little stitch where a uh, stitch a uh, diamond paint of, of a block of colours and obviously I'm doing this as a typical heaven and earth design where I'm working off a PDF pattern on my um, easy PDF highlighting and, and marking so I'm doing it in the same way I would if I was stitching obviously it's it's a lot faster than stitching um, but still it's the same thing where you would be concentrating on your head wouldn't you if you would if you were doing it so it's probably not the best um, project to be trying to do a diamond painting with at this point but hey ho you know we'll work with it but I was saying about my Etsy store so and you know selling some of the the kits the jewelry making kits so I want to get really organized with that um, I might do a bit of that tomorrow just making sure my inventories all there I've got kits ready to go um, so if something comes through I'm not having to like dash up into the craft room and make the kit up which takes time if you if you've got like a little assembly line going um, it's it's faster than trying to do each kit individually because before you know it half an hour's gone that's time you're not getting back for putting it up in the first place you know I don't I don't sell them at a high price I would you know I don't really make any money on them either I mean it's it's really marginal because I've not been around long enough and you know people just don't want to pay for for handmade things I mean there are people who understand like handcraft I think a lot of us guys do because you know we we make things but you know a lot of people don't understand um you know the joy of something that's that's handcrafted or pulled together that isn't you know manufactured mass produced but it does it does take time so I do want to get organized with that and and do more with that this year I think you know, I do, I do enjoy it, and you know, I've, I'm always completely overwhelmed when somebody buys something from me. Um, you know, the sense of pride when you know you send one of your little kits or a card that you've made off into the world, and it's, you know, it's 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 going to somebody to to be turned into a bracelet, or you know, or it's a a card for a special occasion. I love that. It's and I'll never get over that feeling of, of you know somebody buying or wanting something that I've made you know it's it's quite it's quite a humbling experience really I love it so I want to do a lot more with that this year as well so I want to get organized with that too um, and as I said I think tomorrow I'm going to have a stint in the craft room getting the craft room organized um, you know getting some kits made up and prepped and ready and just, I suppose, just getting the craft room organised as well with a view to starting some more jewellery tutorials, more card making things in the new year. So I think that's what I'll do tomorrow. It'll not be the most exciting new year on the planet, I can, I can tell you that. I don't do really anything on new year. Um, do you know what? I've gone wrong again. <laughs> oh, God. Oh God, I know what I've done. I can see exactly what I've done. I just need to move this there. Oh God. See, it's because I'm rabbiting. It's because I'm rabbiting. It's not conducive. Don't do a diamond paint with me when you are there. Gosh, I really need to, need to count, don't I? Anyway. I think we've we've discussed the the Etsy store, but yeah, and I want to do more with it next year and just be more organised with it um, because you can bet your life I'll get an order of some nature come through when I'm you know busy with work or I'm away with work and then there's a mad dash to get it pulled together and in the post. So yeah, I do want to I do want to be more organised with that. And uh, yeah, we'll we'll see how it goes. What was the next point I wrote down? Oh yeah, so <laughs> it's everybody's, isn't it? But it, it is it is a biggie. Is the exercise and health 
aspect of my life. So I do tend to go through phases of being more active and healthy, but I need to keep it maintained. So last year I got myself, was it the year before? Yeah, I fell off the wagon this year. So this time last year, I was in a position where I could have joined the park run in the UK, which is like a Saturday, sorry, my iPad's just crashed, a Saturday 5K run. So I sort of registered, was about to do it, and then didn't. And then my fitness sort of fell off the wagon, work got busy, again, I fell into the work trap of then not having enough time, I wanted to stitch, didn't have time for exercise and you know this year I'm very keen not for that not to happen so I've already started the the fitness kick and it's not I'm not making an issue of it because if I make an issue of it in my own head then you know I won't I won't be able to do it because then it becomes a thing doesn't it which is why I'm not doing any diet because then it's a thing isn't it and then if you think you can't have something you want it. So I don't, I will never put myself on a diet. Not that I'm saying never, but I'm not going to put myself on a diet because if I exercise, for me, that means not that I can eat exactly what I want, but if I've burnt off more calories than I'm inputting by default and providing I'm eating relatively healthily, I should keep the weight off and maintain and you know get fit because that's the whole point of it. it it's to get fitter be more to be stronger more active and and able to do things bear with me while I just top up my diamonds I'm just making sure I'm strong you know for for when things do get busy you know that I'm able to to keep up the pace and then I don't become ill and you know touch wood I haven't been ill in a in a long time so I feel as though I've got myself to a good level of immunity I mean my job involves you know spending a quite a lot of time within within a hospital environment as well so you know from an immunity perspective I would say I'm pretty strong anyway um, bear with me while I just count this for a moment oh no I'm okay I'm okay I'm just further down the line than I thought I was there I need to stick one there. Right, I'm just going to mark these off, guys. Bear with me. So, as you know, I've started, um, I downloaded the app Peloton. You should check it out. You get, um, at the minute they're offering a couple of months free as well, so you, you don't have to financially commit. See if you like it. But since I spoke last time on it, I think I did a stitch with me and mentioned it, they have added even more to it. So not only do you have running, um, bike stuff on there, you've also got a whole host of, of other types of workout as well, which is, which is absolutely brilliant. So I want to do more from a fitness perspective. So I want to get myself running again. I want to get back up to a 5K level so I can go and do the park run. And I also want to be doing this Peloton at least three times a week. So that's going to be my, my exercise commitment for 2019 is to be consistent um, rather than, you know, something crazy that is not realistic. Bear with me. I'm just going to swap out my colour. There we go. So I want to, oh, another shade of grey. <laughs> How exciting this moon is. Um, so yes, you'll be seeing a fitter, healthier me through 2018. I'm also going to do more stuff in the house. So next year, uh, oh there's Daisy stretching out. <laughs> I'm going to be doing um, a garage conversion. So I'm going to be taking, I've got a double garage that's connected to the house. So I'm going to take the half, obviously that's close to the house and convert it into a room and that's going to become my gym. At the minute, I've got some gym equipment in one of the bedrooms upstairs, which is fine. But I would like that bedroom back <laughs> as a bedroom um, rather than a makeshift gym. Um, so I'll be doing that at some point 
Um, I need to get a surveyor, um, not a surveyor, yeah I think it is a surveyor, through to do um, some planning permission for me to convert it and then the work can start as soon as planning permission comes through so I do need to find somebody who can do that in my locality and get them booked in, um, ideally for next week I think, um, while I'm still around a little bit. I'm back to work after New Year but I still have, <clears throat> you know, they still, they still owe me a bit of time so I'm going to be taking that, some of it next week so I will be online but not as online as, as I usually am just to recoup some, some of the time owed back um, because if I don't sort of take it as and when I'll never get it um, because the job doesn't work like that as I've already explained. So so yeah, so that'll be next week. So that's exciting. Um, you know, moving forwards with that and you know, adding another room in and having a good use for it. So that will link very nicely into my other previous goal of you know exercising more because if I've got a proper decent sized space to do it in, um I'm you know more likely to do it, aren't I? I don't I don't I have joined gyms in the past but as a rule I'm not I'll pay my gym fee and just never go. <laughs> it always seems like too much of a hassle to to physically drive somewhere, go do my thing and then come back where if it's in the house you would think you're more likely to do it, wouldn't you? I mean, I wouldn't say that I have been, but <laughs> yeah, I w I would be more likely to do it. Um so that's it really. I think on the whole, I just need to ultimately make sure I've got enough me time and not even just from the point of view of having time to craft and things like that. It, there's, there's a bit more to it than that, isn't there? Just a bit of time down um, where I'm not having to think about anything, really. I'm looking forward to 2019. Normally... I approach the new year with some trepidation and you know a bit of doom and gloom and oh my god you know what's going to happen this next year but I'm feeling I'm feeling really really positive about 2019 and I can't I can't quite put my finger on it but I think it I think it's going to be a really good year on multiple levels so I'm quite excited to see what it brings um you know, in terms of plans for New Year, I don't have any. I don't, I used to, um, and I suppose it depends on where, you know, what my situations have been, but I don't normally go out anymore on New Year. Uh, you know, I don't, I don't like being in, you know, heavily cramped areas where, you know, you're sort of packed in somewhere. It makes me feel claustrophobic. I don't like it. Um, so it'll, it'll probably be quiet. I mean, more often than not, I just sort of chill out. I probably stitch or something and just watch a bit of TV, bring the new year in, wait for the fireworks to be over because obviously people let fireworks off and Daisy's not a big fan of them. Although she's got a little bit better this year than she was last year with them. But then we'll just go to bed when everything sort of dies down and the fuss dies down and, you know, everything starts to get quiet again. We'll probably just head to bed and and chill out so I've got no plans um, to do anything exciting and I don't see that changing um, but my iPad's just crashed again so I think it's probably a good time to to end this but yeah I hope you've enjoyed listening to me rabbit on about my, my plans and my goals for for 2018 but um, yeah, I will be doing like a close out for, for my stitching and diamond painting for 2018 and a, a wrap up and a December update and then there'll be a planned video because I've got a lot of new stuff planned. Um, I made a new purchase a couple of days ago which I'm really, really excited to share with you so I'll be sharing that in that new upload. So I will... Um, I'll catch up with you soon guys. Have a fantastic new year um, and I hope 2019 brings you everything that you want in life. So you take care and I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.